Well, greetings, Prenny Enthusiasts. My name is Vicki Soma. This is Teagall 3D, and today's episode is called, You Guys, I Wrote a Book! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Or if you have a Unix background, bang, bang, bang. You may have noticed an absence on my part um, on YouTube, but it doesn't mean I don't love the 3D printing community. In fact, I was still quite busy. I did some speeches, I did some craft shows, I had a, a fruitful Etsy season, and as you may have ascertained from the title of the episode, I wrote a book. The book is primarily focused on Blender and using it for 3D printing projects. Um, it's a project-based learning book, so it walks step-by-step -step through four different projects uh, to try to teach some Blender concepts and Blender tools. The first project is uh, using Bezier curves to trace out a profile, a silhouette, and make it into a pendant. The second project we go ahead and build out of basic Blender shapes. So if you're familiar with Tinkercad and you know how you can build out of using drag and dropping those shapes, it's sort of similar to that where we start with a cube and a circle and we use the mirror modifier and we also learn how to poke out holes to um, go ahead and make it so it can become a bracelet. And then finally, we learn about the text object in Blender, which is very, very useful for embossing and engraving and personalizing projects. The third project is near and dear to my heart. Uh, they wanted an architecture model. Uh, I've done, I've highlighted on my channel before that I do little 3D printed houses. And the house that I selected for the book is one that's prominent in my family. Uh, my grandfather designed and built a house and my father grew up there. My father's six siblings grew up there. This is where me and my cousins had all of our Thanksgivings and our Christmases and our Easter's. And so it just made a lot of sense. You know, I, I do the modeling for the book and then I also had a Christmas present for my family. This one, we get into mesh modeling tools such as loop, cut, and slide. We talk about extrude and we learn more about scaling. Um, as we dig into the details of the house, we're subdividing and insetting. Um, finally, we learn the power of Boolean intersection uh, to make textures, to make brickwork and stonework from your house. And we learn about the array modifier to make our sheet of bricks. We learn to import in scalable vector graphics files for the stonework. Most of the projects in the book are very geometric based. They're very precise where you want specific detail heights just of this specific measurement. Uh, the last project in the book it deviates a little bit and just shows another side of Blender and how you can use it for organic modeling. And so you go through the same kind of mesh modeling techniques that you use with the house, but then you throw in a subdivision surface modifier to make it look more realistic, make it look more polished. Um, I am not a printed home snob. Uh, as I mentioned before, I started my, my 3D printing journey uh, with Shapeways. Uh, I was 3D printing for a year before I owned my own printer. I still have a lot of love in my heart for Shapeways. And there's a lot of things that I would send out to still print there. And one such thing is if I had a full color design. With that in mind, as I'm talking about modeling the hand, I also talk about how you can use materials and UV maps to add colors and details uh, to that model itself if you wanted to upload it and take advantage of full color printing services. And finally, the book ends with troubleshooting your models. Uh, Blender is a very expansive application um, and it's geared towards animations, geared towards game modeling. Uh, it's not necessarily keeping in mind clean meshes for 3D printing. And so the last chapter will go over uh, common issues that can happen to your model and how you can fix them uh, for 3D printing. And yeah, it's been quite a journey. Uh, you absolutely do not have to buy my book, but if it is something that seems of interest to you, this is a good time to go ahead and buy it. Publisher is doing a $5 sale for all of their eBooks, and um, this is going until 2018. So if this is something you think you might want to go get at some point, uh, go ahead and get it now when it's only $5. 
So you may be wondering what's next. Uh, I'm going to hopefully resume my YouTube videos in 2018. I'm going to be preparing for the Maker Fair Nova, which is going to be March 18th, 2018. Uh, I will also be continuing efforts to spread the word about the East Coast Rip Rap Festival, which is looking to be in late June 2018. And we would love, love, love to see any of you guys there. All right. Well, everybody have a very Merry Christmas, a very Happy New Year. Happy, happy, happy holidays. Uh, thank you for watching. And yeah, just thank you, community. Thank you.